Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's time for voting video number 409 in the Incredible Mandela Effect voting video series here on the Money Bag 73 channel. Thanks for joining me today. It's about time for a voting video. I feel like I'm back in 2007 when I used to knock these out like every day or every other day. I was working full time and I was doing the voting videos. It was insane. All right. Listen to this. Chuck Mangione, 1977, or maybe 78. 77, I think it came out. All right, so you're going to put it one down below if you have memories of that being the theme song of a late 70s, early 80s television show. You're going to put a two down below. If you don't think it was. Now, it was a hit song, number four on the charts, like in 77 or 78. I heard it a lot on the radio as a little kid. Um, but I could, I, this is the crazy thing. I played this like seven, eight times a day. When I hear this song, it takes me right back to being a little kid around eight or nine years old, sitting in front of the television. And, you know, there's Taxi, there's The Love Boat, there's... Uh, the A Team, whatever, like all those late seventy, early early eighties television shows. It brings me right back to there. I I would swear that this was a a theme song for a television show, but it never was. Here you have people. Was Chuck Mangione feels so good a theme song for a television show? I emailed his agent, who says no, the song's never been used for an official theme song. And then you have all these people going back 17 years on the internet questioning what TV show played Chuck Mangione. Uh, and then there's other ones. And then even on Reddit, there's quite a few people who think that the song feels so good, which was that song. Was used as a theme song for an 80s sitcom. 2013, whose theme song is Chuck Mangione's TV show? You know, on and on. Lots of questions. What TV show was Chuck Mangione's Feel So Good? It was never a TV show. So this is really only for people like 40 and older. Like if you're in your 20s or 30s, you don't know. So probably don't want to vote. <laughs> but if you're like 40 and older and this, you would have sworn this was the theme song of a TV show. That's what comes to mind. I asked a childhood friend. I asked my mom. My mom was like, yeah. This was a this is a theme for a TV show, but I can't think of the TV show, and, and I hadn't told her yet that it wasn't. And so she's saying, "Well, I can't think of it. It's like an hour long show, not one of the half hour long shows." And I'm like, "Well, mom, it never was a theme song to any show." And she's like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of doing a video on this. That's why I'm asking you about it." And then my childhood friend says, "Yeah, this sounds familiar, um, you know, but what else can he say?" <laughs> no one's gonna say, "Oh yeah, it was that show." No, it was no show. So it's really crazy. Tell me how you feel down below, how this song makes you feel. And, you know, vote. One, you know, one, you would have said it was a theme song. You would be willing to bet that it was a theme song. Or two, no, it was just a hit song on the radio. So that's about it. Uh, apparently, uh, this guy showed up on King of the Hill a bunch of times. So it's probably going to be people saying, you're thinking of King of the Hill. I never watched King of the Hill, so I have no idea about any of that. Uh, there was a movie, Fargo, they played. The song's banned in different movies and whatever. I mean, I'm thinking of it. Eight, 19, early 80s, like 80, 80, 81, 82, TV show. That's what comes to mind for me. And, and that's just the vibe I get. I, the song brings me back to sitting in front of my television. And I, really weird. Gives me a really weird feeling. So anyway, before I go, there was something else I've been wanting to talk about. And I've never talked about it. On my channel, I mean, I've I've pointed out some naysayers and you know some people that are bashing the Mandela effect and this and that, but I never really talked about people in the community 
or stuff. But um, All Time is actually not in the community because I called him out years ago when I was seeing him do videos about things that we were covering, me and other content creators were covering. And I'd see him cover it. And then I was wondering, well, how come he never gives credit to anybody for anything? After like a year or two of, you know, his channel was growing. He does good editing and all that. And, you know, I actually wanted to congratulate him here on the, the video he put out today. He was given his numbers. Uh, I wanted to congratulate him on 300,000 subs. Congratulate him on 9 million hours watched. I mean, he's got the number one watched channel for Mandela Effect content. He gets more views than anybody else covering the Mandela Effect, at least the last few years. But I wanted to talk about this nine months ago. Brand new Duracell Bunny. Well, me and others did videos on that five, six years ago. And so I keep seeing this. He puts out brand new. They're not brand new. So I'm just wondering, you know, why would, why would he be doing that? And then when I asked him how come he doesn't credit anybody, he said... I, I said, anyone in the community, he's like, well, what community? Like, he's a one-man show. And then I saw him comment to someone, I don't watch other content creators' videos. I don't want to be accused of, you know, uh, using their their content or using their research. So rest assured, it's all original content on All Times channel. He does all the research. He noticed all the Mandela effects. I mean... I'm sure some of his subs probably pointed some things out, but I mean, he either saw him or had a sub point him out. He doesn't watch any videos on the Mandela Effect, according to what I saw him tell someone in a comment. And it's just all original content from, from his channel. But I this seems to be a reoccurring theme here, this brand new thing he does when they're not brand new. So that's pretty disingenuous to put brand new. It only takes a little bit of research and you can either find my video or the Mandela Affected channel did a video on this five years ago. I think it was here. I don't know. I don't see it now, but it was here. Um, so anyway, the reason I bring up all time, I wanted to talk about this video he put out today. So he puts out the video, Top 20 Mandela Effects, Best of 2023. Now, here's the difference between my channel and his. And before you get into saying, oh, well, you're just you're just talking this way. You're pointing this out because you're jealous. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I'd love to have 300,000 subs or 9 million watch hours. But he, he puts together well-edited videos that are viewer-friendly. Mine's about the research. I mean, you're not going to get as many views looking at web pages and, and the things I show and, and showing different YouTube clips. and what, the, the style of my videos over the last eight years is not going to attract as many people as this. So, you know, I, I congratulate him on the type of video... The, the videos that he's done and getting so many views and all that, that's great. But the difference between this channel and my channel is I would never put out a video like he did today. And and a lot of the other ones, brand new this, brand new that, and they're not brand new. And it doesn't take a lot of research to see that. So top 20 Mandela effects, best of 2023. He put out a best of 2023 video. And right in the beginning, there's some Bible talk. And, and, and there's dragons and unicorns. That's not the best of 2023. Jewel, who will save your soul versus souls is not the best of 2023. Boom, boom, pow. I did that in 2018. 20, I can't even remember anymore. I did a video on that in 2018. That's not 2023. Babe the pig. I, people were talking about that years ago. Like, so you just go through, what? I didn't never did anything on the Walker chips, the, the color green and blue change or whatever, but I know, I watched that stuff years ago. So this is so disingenuous to put out a, a video called the, the top Mandela effects, the best of the 2023. And they're all from four, five, six, seven years ago. Like he gets away with it. People are like, oh, thanks for bringing us the great compilation of the best of 2023 all time. You got the best channel. I'm, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I just couldn't stay quiet any longer. I mean, come on, dude. How do you do this? Where's the integrity, man? I mean, I have up silver videos I did in 2010, 11. So many of the other silver content creators back then 
when we thought silver was going to the moon, their, their stuff's gone. They took it all down. 98% of the videos I've ever made on this channel are up on the channel. You can go watch me say silver's going to, you know, should be 100 bucks or whatever. And it never went there. It went to 50. It's back at 20 now. I mean, it was 20, 12 years ago. Look at the price of everything else. You think silver should be $20 a coin, an ounce now when it was $20 12 years ago? No. It's heavily manipulated by the banks that, you know, that are running things. So, you know, at least gold is over 2000 an ounce or whatever. It was 1200 back then. You know, it's almost double when I was talking about it years ago, nine, 10 years ago. But I was wrong. That's my whole point. I was wrong, but my videos are there. Go listen to me be wrong. People are wrong, but a lot of people, you know, they don't want any video up where they were wrong. It'll show that they get things wrong. Everybody gets things wrong. It's about having integrity. And so I left all those videos up because I have integrity. I was wrong. I left them up. They're on the channel. Why take them down? Because I was wrong. But where's the integrity in this? I mean, this stuff was talked about years ago and it's all in a best of 2023. Come on, man. He knows it's not the best of 2023. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I mean, I didn't really want to do a little bash session on all time, but you know, I'm tired of not mentioning anything. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is the most watched channel on YouTube for Mandela Effect content, and that's what you get? You get, you get someone misleading his viewers, telling him that these are from 2023, and he knows they're not. Anyway, go create the reality that you want. I'll be back with everybody soon.